my research is focusing on studying the human aspect of sea ice, how that relates to the geophysical aspect. All along the coast, local communities are establishing what's referred to as ice trails and trying to find a suitable location on the ice edge or a lead where they can then hunt for whales. And they sit out there for, they can sit there for weeks at a time and they sit, they have to be completely completely ready like at all times they do shift work day and night and they can stand out there if the conditions are right and they're waiting for that whale to surface once they get it it's crucial that this point that they find is this, this ice edge is thick enough so that they can hold this massive whale up on the trail these locals are not geophysicists but they are what you can clearly referred to as sea ice experts. These, these people have learned from the ice since they were kids. A lot of research is doing thickness measurements in random locations and trying to figure out, you know, what's the average thickness, these kind of things. But my research is more focusing on what is the thickness and what governs where these trails go. So what I do for my research is that I take uh, snow machine and drags an electromagnetic conductivity meter which then sends pulses in through the ice down in the water and by that can establish the thickness of the ice. About 45 is the next one. The ice is never the same from year to year but even this year is dramatically different I would say and that's what all the locals are saying that's what the scientists are saying this year we had very smooth ice and what this does is that it's actually not that common to see this year to see grounded ridges out there so you see one there but if you look out here up further up north it's it's really no grounding at all and what that does is that the ice gets smoother so it's easier to access the ice edge but it's not stabilized as as good how science can utilize this this local traditional knowledge in geophysics and how to tie these together is something that is pretty interesting. You can hardly go in a coffee shop anywhere in like North America without hearing someone buzzing about sea ice and climate change and that sort of thing. And there's also been a lot of, a lot of dispute about, you know, is this real, is it not? And I think that question I'm wanting to find some answer for myself and, and uh, really get to the bottom of these questions is what brought me into the field.